there, it's me Sarah here from Wholesale Tech, one of the largest YouTube channels dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to build a real money making business. And today, me and online e-commerce millionaire and my good friend Adrian Morrison are going to be giving you proven tactics on scaling from $0 to $10,000 within 30 days using Facebook ads. Adrian has had incredible results with Facebook, and as you can see, he recently went from $0 to $10,000 in sales in less than a week for the launch of one of his Facebook ad campaigns for his print-on-demand and AliExpress dropshipping store. So I am super excited to have him on today. So let's jump straight into our first tactic. One, use Facebook's automation tools to create a super high converting campaign. Now, as we revealed last week, one of Adrian's top performing products of all time that he's dropshipped from AliExpress is this LED light up dog collar. At its height, Adrian was selling over $100,000 a month worth of these, mostly through Facebook ads. Now you might think that to sell so many so fast that he must be using some super complicated Facebook ad strategy, right? Well, actually it's a lot simpler than you might think. Adrian, like me, is a huge believer in the power of trusting Facebook's incredible algorithm. I'm going to switch over to Adrian now, and he's going to reveal his surprisingly simple three-step Facebook ad strategy, and also explain how you can implement it yourself with $5 a day budgets. People try to overcomplicate Facebook. Let me tell you something right now. Facebook will legitimately do 99% of the work for you if you know what to do with Facebook, right? So what we're doing is we're creating two or three different variations of our ads. So if I'm trying to sell, let's just say, I don't know, one of those little $3 dog collars uh, from AliExpress, I'm gonna have three different ad creatives. Maybe one of them is gonna be a video ad creative, and another one is gonna be an image ad creative, and the other one might just be like a different picture of it. That way we give people options, because people are gonna respond differently to different images or to a video versus an image. All right, the second thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna run these creatives on a small, very low risk, $5 per day budget. And you're gonna let those ads run for three or four days. The third thing that you need to do is utilize Facebook's campaign budget optimization. It's a brand new feature by Facebook, and what they will do is they will look at all of your ads for you, those three ads, and they will look at your engagement rate and how many sales each one is getting, and they will base it off of profits. The days of sitting at the computer and looking at your Facebook ads and turning everything on and off, those are over. Facebook has automations and AI that will literally control your campaigns for you, make decisions that you can't make and that are in your best interest and make sure that the most profitable traffic runs to the most profitable ad so you earn more ROI for every penny that you spend. Two, use emotions to create huge click-through rates for your Facebook ad campaigns. You know, I always thought that if there was ever going to be a quote that I would be remembered for other than step by step, I'd really love for it to be this. When it comes to marketing, most people think that you sell features, but actually what you really should be selling is emotions. Because it's true and it's very important to remember this if you want to create effective, profitable Facebook ads. Take the dog collar. Last week, Adrian shared that the angle he used in his Facebook ad copy to sell this wasn't that it featured LED lights. Instead, his ads focused on how the collars protected dogs by allowing you to see where they are when it's dark outside. It was the emotion of wanting to protect your dog that sold the collar, not its features. For me, the emotion that I have had the most success in utilizing, and also the one that I think is the most underutilized of them all when it comes to Facebook ads, is humor. Take this product that you could be selling by dropshipping from AliExpress right now in your own store, this umbrella jacket. It looks kind of silly, right? Who would be interested in that? Well, it turns out a lot of people do. Blue Creator, successful dropshipping store, created the super effective product video ad that completely embraces how ridiculous and silly it looks. And yes, this video ended up going crazy viral. And that is another huge bonus of creating humorous ads as well. They have the greatest chance of going viral, which brings in free traffic. But while humor is definitely my number one favorite emotion to play off if I can, 
Unfortunately, not all products can be made humorous. And so probably the second most effective emotion that I play off is curiosity. Curiosity is not usually an emotion that's effective in getting someone to purchase a product, but it's extremely effective when it comes to advertising because it's great to get people to come and take a look. For example, here's a hot selling product on Facebook right now that you could be selling and drop shipping in your own store from AliExpress, a watermelon slicer shaped like a windmill. Here is an example of a video ad that went super viral for it. The copy seems simple enough, right? But actually, it's surprisingly effective. You see, as I explained in this video, the key to inciting curiosity in your potential customers is to give them most of the information, but to leave a little bit out. And that's exactly what this copy does in conjunction with the image. We get some information, we know the video will show us a slice of gadget that will take the messy, annoying task of cubing watermelon and make it easy. And we know it's shaped funny. So why does this strangely shaped gadget work so well at this really annoying task? Well, to find out, we have to watch the video. Three, optimize your ad and sales funnels once you've found a winning ad. So once you've gone ahead and tested different ads for the products that you're selling and let Facebook choose your winning ad that's making you the most money, it's time to optimize both your ad and your sales funnel to make you even more money. There are three tried and true strategies that Adrian has used to scale up his winning ads and to increase the amount of money that he makes from them. And here is what they are. I have a dead simple formula for making sure that my ads never plateau and that my ads are scalable up to $10,000 a week and far beyond that. Now this is called the Profit Accelerator Funnel. Facebook isn't just Facebook ads. When you're running a Facebook campaign, your ad can run on Instagram. It could run on other web properties on the internet that Facebook gets traffic with. So one way that you scale past that plateau point, let's just say you're making $300 a day and your goal is to get to $600 a day. One of the easiest things to do is duplicate your winning ad, the one that you know it's already working, you know that it's profitable, and then you can tell it send the traffic for this ad uh, from Instagram, right? Or send the traffic from this ad from our other network of web properties. The second thing that we do in the Profit Accelerator funnel is we start selling people different products on the back end. So when you go to my Shopify store and you buy a product, you're gonna get upsold. It's gonna say, hey, would you like to buy another one of these products at a discount? After you purchase a product and you end up on the thank you page, we're gonna say, hey, thanks for becoming a customer. For the next 20 minutes, you can get 15% off an additional order and we'll put a countdown timer on the page and it'll start counting down and it, it gives people urgency to go spend more money on our store right when they are hot. These three strategies that Adrian uses, i.e. the Profit Accelerator, are incredibly powerful and they massively increase the average order value, which means then that your Facebook ads are cheaper. And here are some Shopify apps that you can use to implement some of these strategies. The first is reconvert post-purchase upsell, which will let you add the limited time discounted shopping option to customers that just purchased from you and are super hot. And the second is discounted upsells, upsells. This is a super effective yet highly effective app that offers your customers a discounted copy of the item that they just purchased. Last week, we ran a webinar with Adrian. He showed us how he built a seven-figure flex store with both drop shipping and print-on-demand using his Profit Accelerator funnel. Now, that was super popular, so we're going to run one final webinar, how to scale to $100,000 in 90 days with a flex store. Please note, registration is essential. We will not be streaming this on YouTube, so if you want to join us for that, be sure to click on the registration link in the video description below or create a high converting landing page for your ad. When it comes to creating a super high converting, profitable Facebook ad, the actual ad itself is just one part of the funnel. Now, yes, it is important to pick a great product, but you know what else is important? Sending your customer to a high converting landing page, or at least a passable one. So for your online store, your landing page is probably going to be your product page. And if you can go beyond a passable page, which to be honest, most people don't even start with, and then create an amazing product page, then this will greatly increase your conversions, which means that you will make more money per sale, which means that you can reinvest that money and scale your ads up and up. 
take this item that you could be selling and drop shipping in your own store right now from AliExpress, this back posture corrector. This has been consistently one of the top performing products for drop shippers for many, many reasons. One of the biggest Facebook video ads for this product is this ad here. It's been scaled to over 500,000 views in just two-ish months and yep, they are drop shipping this from China. Now, no one can know just how successful they've been, but what I will say is that getting to 500,000 views with an ad is expensive. So while we can't know for sure, the chances are they are indeed making sales and money, which has allowed them to reinvest this money back into their ads and scale it up rapidly. And one of the reasons that they're able to do this is because compared to a lot of their competitors, they have a really great product description that they've put effort into creating. This product page will be increasing their conversions, which means that they're going to make more sales and more money and therefore be able to reinvest that money and outstrip their competitors spending wise. And they do some simple yet highly effective tactics for creating a great product page. I'm going to switch over to my computer now and show you. So here we go. Now this page isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. As you can see, they've got lots of high quality pictures. None of these are pixelated, showing off the device at multiple angles. And they also have a video in the image gallery, which is great. I could be wrong, but I think they've just taken this video from the AliExpress supplier and slapped their own logo on top of it. Or perhaps they made it. Either way, placing emphasis on a video is great because remember, video was what brought the user to their page in the first place. And if we come down and check out their timer, we can see that they do indeed have a scarcity timer, but they aren't overwhelming us with lots of different scarcity apps, which is great. Putting lots of different scarcity apps is a big mistake I see a lot of newbies make. And they also have trust badges. And I really like that they emphasize that this is only available online. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you say it's exclusively available in your store because that might be considered an illegal claim, but saying it's available online exclusively is a great way to make the customer think that they've got you know, limited options to buy it. And so they're less likely to go and research their alternatives. And once again, they place focus on the video, which is good because the video was what sold the customer on it in the first place. And they don't try and hide the shipping times, which is really important if you don't want to have customer support issues. And scrolling down, we can see that they have written unique copy. Now it's not much, it's just short little paragraphs, but the top two paragraphs focus on outlining the problems this product fixes rather than the features. By highlighting the back problems it fixes, it incites emotions in the customer of relief and envy since they want these problems fixed in their own lives. And something I really like about the description is they follow each paragraph up with a big, bold picture of the device being used, which is excellent because it makes the page appear bigger and more informative. And these are just some of the reasons that this is a great product page. Now, again, this product page isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. <laughs> And because this page is so well designed, again, it's going to be increasing the conversions, which means they're going to be making more money, which is going to allow them to scale their ad faster. Five, pick a product that is scalable that lots of people want to buy. So yes, testing different ad creatives and using emotive language has been integral to how Adrian has been able to turn this little dog collar into a six-figure product. But there is also something fundamentally important about the item itself. And here is what it is. Listen, one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're choosing products is they go for these like micro niche products that the masses don't really want. So you have a small audience and you run into scaling issues, right? It's hard to generate a lot of sales with a product that not a lot of people are interested in. We try to select items that we know are going to appeal to the masses. For example, a dog product. How many people on the planet have a pet. How many people have two pets or three pets, right? So when you're choosing products and niches like that, you're able to get multiple orders of your item. Now this may seem simple, but it is important if you want to have a mega successful Facebook ad campaign that you can scale to over $10,000 a month really fast within 30 days or less. Before doing anything else, you need to start out by choosing a product that has a big yet highly passionate fan base. And as Adrian said, there are lots and lots of dog owners out there and we are super passionate. And remember, if you're not sure if the product you've picked has enough passionate fans that you can target on Facebook, create a dummy ad for it. So let's take this cute mug here that turns your face into a cat's face. 
before you even consider creating an ad for it. It's a great idea to do a dummy ad for it and see if you can reach 100,000 passionate fans. So that's what I did. I came to Facebook and targeted people living in the USA. I then made sure to target mobile traffic on Facebook feeds, as that's usually the highest converting traffic for your initial test product ads. I then used overlapping interests to target people who both A, love their cats, and B, like kawaii things, which means to like cute things, such as the smug. And check it out, we've reached over 100,000 passionate fans. So I hope you all learned something from watching this video, and if you want to leverage Facebook ads for your own online business, but you don't know how, then you should be sure to download our free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Dropshipping Stores Follow To Make Over $10,000 A Month. To get that ebook for yourself, simply click on the download link in the video description below.